The Bible prophesies in the last days all the nations will be gathered against Israel in an attempt to destroy her. Why then should we in this age support Israel? Let's find out. Well, hi, my name is Nathan Jones. I'm here with my good friend and fellow evangelist, Vic Batista. Vic's joined us for all the way from Florida to help answer this question. Why should Christians support Israel? Well, Nathan, that is a very good question. And I believe, number one, let's talk about democracy. Okay. And uh, the nation of Israel is the only Western-style democracy in the sea of Islamic tyranny. Supporting Israel is to support the only nation in the Middle East which offers religious freedom and human rights to women. Nathan, that is one of the challenges that we find with these other religions is the oppression towards women. We know that Jesus came and one of the things that he came was to liberate, to set people free. And we remember the woman caught in adultery. Mm -hmm. He didn't stone her, but he set her free. And I think that that's one of the things that I love about the democracy in Israel that is so different from the surrounding nations. Right. And if you're in a democracy or a republic like we are, you want to support other like-minded, freedom-loving uh, uh, nations. So, yeah, it's democracy. How about defense? I don't think we realize how much Israel stands as a bulwark against millions and millions Absolutely. of Islamic jihadists who would want to take over the world and create a new caliphate. And so Israel stands as a kind of a stopgap. They're the finger in the hole of the dike, so to speak, before the flood of world invasion comes through, and they take the brunt of it. I mean, we sleep in peace yeah. as Israeli young men and women in the IDF are being shot at all the time to provide freedom for the Western world. So I think that we should support Israel because they provide a defense against us falling into Islamic tyranny. And Nathan, and when you look at the Iron Dome, what a fascinating uh, oh, yeah. uh, uh, technological advancement that is. And that is, again, one of these uh, wonderful reasons that we find here, their democracy, their defense. And also another thing, Nathan, number three, uh, economics. Yeah, It's fantastic. Israel contributes to the world a mind-boggling amount of food, medicine, and cutting-edge technologies that raise a standard of living throughout the world. I believe that Intel chip, Nathan, if I'm not mistaken, that was actually part of uh, one of their technological advancement. I went to visit Israel a few years ago, and they have some technology that we don't even have here yet. Some systems for the cars, in other words, sensors, that they will be able to sense distance between vehicles. And I was really impressed, this little sliver of a country, Nathan, and all that God is doing there. Oh my goodness, when you think about it, Israel is basically the breadbasket of the Middle East. Most of the Middle East depends on Israel's production. A land that was destroyed by the Romans was desolate for hundreds and hundreds of years. And when the Jews returned, they brought it back into being bountiful again. Like you said, the Jewish people invented the jump drive and the firewall on all these different medicines like yeah. uh, multiple sclerosis medicines. So yes, they're a great blessing. I think they're also a blessing because God said that they'd be a blessing to the world. In Genesis 12, uh, God said, I will bless those who bless you and I will curse the, him who curses you. So in other words, when we support Israel, we incur God's blessing on our nation. Now, you'll notice it's very interesting in history that whenever the United States turns its back on Israel, then we endure some kind of freak storms like Hurricane Katrina or whatnot. But when we bless Israel, America then goes through blessings. And not just America, but all over the world. And it goes back all the way back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, where God made a promise to them that the world would be blessed through the Jewish people. And that's another reason why I believe that we should support Israel. Absolutely. Nathan, another reason is that it's biblical, right? I mean, we really need to turn to the Bible and recognize that it's a biblical thing to do. It rather goes without saying that it is biblically correct for Christians to support Israel since God loves the Jewish people and wants them to return to him. Then shouldn't Christian want this as well? Loving Israel expresses our love for God. And Nathan, that's why you and I throughout the years, the many, many programs that we've done is always encourage people to love Israel, to love the nation of Israel and its people. Uh, there, Satan uh, wants us to, for some reason, hate the people of Israel. 
And, and I remember as a, as a young Christian having this dislike towards Jewish people, and I could not explain why. Mm -hmm. Then I became born again. I became a Christian. I recognized those were seeds that were planted by the enemy there because God has a special plan for his people, the nation of Israel. Maybe that's also happening to others even right now. And that's the sixth reason, prophetic. God has a plan for the nation of Israel, for the Jewish people. He has a plan to use them to bring the gospel to the world. He brought them already the Bible. We got through right. the Jewish people, the Messiah, that we're Christians today is rooted in uh, Israel. Yeah. And we know that God is going to return. The Messiah is going to return to this earth. And Jesus is going to rule and reign from Jerusalem uh, for a thousand years with, over with peace and righteousness and justice. And so those are all prophetic events that circle around Israel. And so if Israel is the apple of God's eyes, then as Christians shouldn't be the apple of our eyes as well. Yes, it's a secular nation right now. Yes, we don't agree with all their politics and all their um, uh, just adherence to Torah and not accepting sure. the gospel. But we know that the Lord has purposes. It says a third of them will come to know Jesus as their savior by the end of the tribulation time period. So when you support Israel, you're supporting God's work through Israel. Mm, fantastic.